Hello and welcome. In this session, we are going to learn all about Access LT and this is going to be very interesting. And do not worry if you have no prior knowledge on this topic. I will start from scratch and go up step by step. And I will also show you a practical demo so you can do hands on along with me or you can just watch and understand everything about Access LT. So let's get started and let us first create a very simple XML. So here I have created two tags class. This is the start tag and end tag. Inside class, I have created student, start tag and end tag. And then inside student, we have first name, last name and nickname. So this is a very, very simple XML. Now, if I open this XML into any editor or on a browser, it will look as it is. And if I want to do some kind of styling, formatting and designing, and I want that this looks like something like this on a browser. So we have to do some transformation. And for this, we use XSL. So XSL stands for Extensible Style Sheet Language and XSLT stands for XSL Transformations. So in very, very simple words, XSL is a styling language for XML and XSLT is used to transform XML document into other formats like HTML using the XSL language. So let us see a demo so that it will be very easy and very clear to you. I'm going on my Windows system and you can do it this on any operating system like Mac or Windows and we just have to create two documents. So I will first create a new folder. You can create these documents anywhere on your system. I will say this is access LT demo and I will open this folder and inside this I am going to create a new document. I will create a text document and I will name this as students.xml. So this will be a our XML file. So I have given the extension as XML here and now I am going to open this into any editor. So I'm going to use Notepad++, you can use any editor. And here, I'm going to create our XML. So I will give a start tag class and I will give a end tag class. Under class, I'm going to give a tag for student, a start tag and end tag. And then under student, I'm going to give first name and the end tag for first name, last name and the end tag for last name and then a uh, nickname and the end tag for nickname now i will give the values let us say the values i will give here is let me just use the same as example i will say first name is graham last name is bell and let us say the nickname is gary so this is a valid xml and you can also check if this is a valid XML using some online tools, XML validators, as we have learned in the earlier sessions. So now if I want to open this into any browser, I will just save this and let's just say I will do a right click here and say open with I can use a Chrome browser. And here you can see it shows our XML as it is. We can do collapse and expand, but however, it is the same as we have created our XML or if I open this into a Internet Explorer browser and here you can see again we have the same XML. Now we have to add the styling to this XML using the style sheet language and for that I will create another document or another file with the extension .xsl. So I will do a right click new and create a document and I will say this is student and the extension is XSL. Now it is not mandatory that you keep the names of these files same. It can be anything but the extension is XSL in case of the XSL document. So I have created this student.xsl and let me also open this in, a, in notepad and here is our XML and here is our XSL and I can open it into a different view so that you can see both of these XML and XSL. Now here I have to create all the designing and formatting information here in the XSL file. 
so for that i have added already created some data here that i want to use here so it is faster so we start with this xsl style sheet version and then xml ns and this is what we use here so this is as it is that you can use i will also add this in the description or i will give you the links from where you can just copy this this is same as it is that you have to add like this and then i will also have to give the end tag for xsl so this is the end tag let me increase the font and now the next thing i will have to do is i will say xsl colon template match equals so i'm just going to say here what object or tag should it match and to what tags should it apply this particular template that i'm going to create so here i will just say class here so i will say forward slash class and i will also have to close this tag so i will say here forward slash xsl template now i can add some html here so i will say html a start tag and then a end tag for html and under html i will add a body and a end tag for body now let's just say now let's just say i want to have a heading or a header on the browser that says student list so i am saying h2 tag which is for heading and i will close the h2 tag here and that's it so it will give a heading student list on the browser and then i want to create a table so i will say table and then i will create a row so the tag for row is tr and of course i will have to end this tag so i will say forward slash tr here and then i want to give some headers so i will say th and uh, end for th tag so i will say the header is first name for this table and then another column will have a header called last name and then the third column will have a header called nickname so as of now i have just created a header for the page and then a table in the table the first row will be a header row where we have these three columns first name last name and nickname now until now i have created this style sheet document separately but we have not yet linked this xml here with this style sheet so for that you will have to add a row at the top of your xml which will link this to the style sheet and for that the statement that you have to add is this xml style sheet i will just copy this and add it here so here i am saying that this xml document is linked to a style sheet which is of type text xsl and here i have to give the location so the name or location of this is student.xsl and this is the file now if it is on the in the same folder or same location both the files you just have to give the name otherwise you can give the complete location of the xsl file now i will save this and now if i go to my browser and refresh on chrome it does not work but let me check on internet explorer or edge so if i just refresh this as of now it is showing me this but let me just go and check this is our xsl now also make sure that this xsl document is also in xml format so it should be a valid xml you can copy this and go to some xml validator tools online and you can just check so you can see there was an error here here we have some issues yes so you can see this should be xsl so this was an error and let me also copy this again and check again i will say validate and here again there is an issue yes so we forgot to close the table tag so we should be closing the table tag as well here so let me just say here table close tag and we can validate it again and now it looks like this is a valid xml so now if i go back to my browser and refresh you can now see we are getting this header so we are getting student list and then we are getting the table as well so now this is coming fine 
so once i refreshed it and went again to the page it is showing me formatting properly now you can also add some border to your table i will go and say this is our table and i will say border equals uh, one and i can refresh and check and yes this is working fine now we also have to add the values so here i will say xsl colon for each so there is a for each loop that i can use here and i can say select equals i can say which tag do i want to use for this for each loop and this is student that i want to use and the reason we want to use this for each loop here is suppose tomorrow we add more students so we do not have to do any changes in the xsl document here it will take all the students or all the data that is under the student tag so here i will say student and of course we should be closing this tag so i will say forward slash xsl for each now under this i will again add a row and end tag for the row and under the row we will add some columns so this is a start tag and end tag for a column now inside this column we want to get the value for first name so whatever value comes in the tag first name should be displayed here so for that i will say here i will say xsl and colon value dash off and select and here i will give the tag that is first name so you can see this is how it looks like i am saying xsl colon value dash off select and whatever is the tag name if i go to my browser and refresh let me load the page again and looks like some issue let me check quickly so we also have to end this tag so i can just give a forward slash here so i have given a forward slash here and now i will save and check again on the browser so here i will load the page again and yes you can see i'm now getting first name here similarly i can add the others and i can say here i'll just copy this and paste here two times this one is for last name so i will say last name and this one is for nickname and i will save this and go to my browser and load the page again and you can now see we are getting the data here now i can do some more formatting i can say here for the header row which is this row i will say bg color equals light green and i will save and check here so you can see it changed the background color for header to a light green color now suppose i add more students or more data in our xml i will just copy the student information here and paste it two times so here i will say albert einstein and nickname i will say this one is thomas edison and let me say nickname is eddie and i will save this and now I've, i'm not doing any change in my xsl file and i will go to the browser and just refresh and you can see all the information is getting added here and this is how we can see our xml in a formatted way and the designing is applied to our xml so now we know this is the extensible style sheet language and it is used to transform xml into other formats like html so now you can see this xml can be used as it is for communication or data exchange purposes when it is used in the applications or systems or between two applications but the same xml can also be used to view and show information on a browser in a formatted way with all the designing applied so this is why we use xsl and this is what is xsl and xslt i hope this session is very useful for you and all the information we have learned in this session will help you throughout your career do share your knowledge with everyone and i will meet you in the next session thank you for watching